the donation stuff. Hey guys, I am at the Salvation Army and in Chicago, Illinois, on Clyborne Avenue. Kind of the near north side. And we are looking at blue tags are half off, yellow tags are twenty-five percent off. And I love this store. They have the widest selection of any thrift store in the area that I have found when it comes to jewelry. Don't know what that's made of. Let me take a close look at that before I go. I was here, I found some nice pieces. And they do have sterling silver. This is kind of interesting. The kind of the bone color one. It's a little different. necklace and I do like those but skip that I like this one boy their cases are loaded just loaded with jewelry today <laughs> wow. That's a pretty mother of pearl abalone pendant. And that's interesting. I'm not sure what that's part from. I'll have to take a closer look at that. Cute little camera pendants. I had something similar to that that I sold not that long ago. That might be a Betsy Johnson. I see the tab. Okay, we're going to move on to the next page. See what they have in here. They have a set of bestness. I went to grab one necklace. It's kind of like a whole house. Some cute earrings. Those larger round ones. I kind of like those. Colorful ones. Looking also to see if there's any sterling that isn't labeled sterling. Maybe got missed. Because with the volume of jewelry they have, it would be easy to some miss. Something and not label it sterling when it really is. We're gonna have to 
take a closer look at their rings. I like that pink one. That one's kind of interesting, the copper one. I like that aqua blue. And that one's pretty. have their newer items and their um, name brand items in this case. through the cases and there's a lot of stuff that isn't in cases still have not even gotten to that sorry for the glare can't seem to get rid of the glare Like maybe it's vintage, some vintage pieces, some more abalone, mother of pearl. Oh, that's pretty. That mother of pearl leaf is very pretty. They've got some vintage items in this case. Bracelets. That was kind of 
kind of cool. And the one that looks like coral. I like that black one with the yellow inside. Pretty bracelet. Seventy dollars, but it's half off today. That might be worth looking at. The blue tags are half off. Sterling ring. I like the one in the middle. That one looks nice. That one looks like Native American. That one right there. Oh, sorry for the finger. Alright, let's 
see if there's anything else here. Now I did buy some sterling jewelry and I am going to show you what that is. I'm going to do a little unboxing of what I purchased. I love the rhinestone stuff, but I have a ton of it right now. So I am going to look at the plant. Don't see it anymore. But I don't have my reading glasses with me. As usual, I'm not prepared. <laughs> I don't think that has a mark, but that is really pretty. Four dollars. Ah, oh, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna take it. I can't resist a good vintage rhinestone necklace. I have a ton of it. I shouldn't be buying more. But I can't help myself. promised I would let you know when I got home what I purchased uh, from Salvation Army and I did a little I did buy this and I did a little bit of research and I guess they're Hawaiian kukui nuts which I've never heard of before um but uh I like them. They are so slick and smooth. I know they've been polished, but I I just still really like this. So Hawaiian kukui nut uh, necklace. I like it. So I purchased that, and it was um, four dollars, but it was twenty five percent off, so I paid three dollars for it, and. <clears throat> I did purchase that. I bought this uh, wood natural stone pendant necklace. And I haven't tested it on anything, so let's see. Ah, it is magnetic. I was hoping I might get lucky and it would not be magnetic. But I still like it. It is a little different. And today it was uh, half off. So I guess I paid like $7.50 for it. 
I still like it. I love the beads. I love the natural stone. I think it's nice. So we have that. I purchased these two brand new stretchy rings. They're in great shape. All the stones are there. Nothing is lost. Um, this one would have been half off because it's blue, so $1.50 I paid for that one. Ami, lead and necklace free, and yeah, paid $1.50 for this one too. So I got these two stretchy rings. I did end up getting, because I can't resist... I just can't resist vintage rhinestone. Uh, all the rhinestones are there. I thought this was really, really pretty. Let's just see. Sometimes these are sterling, but this one isn't. And I paid $4. $4 for this one. Really pretty. I purchased... It says sterling, so this would have been half off because it was blue, so $7.50. It says sterling Mexico. I thought this was really, really pretty. It looks vintage to me. Not magnetic. Uh, so I do believe that is sterling. Really beautiful, beautiful brooch. I love it. I just love that. And it was half off. Uh, then, at first I thought this was an umbrella with rain coming down on it. Um, but no, it's a fish. So an abalone fish. And now it does say, what does it say? It says Mexico. It's probably alpaca. I think it says alpaca. I paid $7 for that. Yeah, it is magnetic. But I like it whether it is what I thought it was at first, like an umbrella or a tree or something like that, or a fish. I just think that's really pretty. Abalone, so I got that. Then I purchased, how much was this? What did I pay for this? I paid $3 for this. And I just thought it was adorable what they did with this mother of pearl uh, brooch. They used a shell to create a little bug going up on the brooch. So I thought that was really nice. I paid $3. They even gave me a nice little bag to protect it. Um, this piece... I liked the flowers and the leaves. I did pay $12 for this. And it does say something. I could not make it out in the store. Let's see if we can make it out with the camera. If not, I will get my loop. Ooh. Let me get my loop. I thought I saw 12 carat in there. Let's see. That would be a nice surprise. Let's see what it says. Let's get my loop out. I was so excited to take a closer look at all this. I didn't really get my stuff out and ready. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes I can't wait. Patience is not my not my best suit. 
Okay, what does this say? Hmm. Okay, let me try to read it from the other side. There's like two rows of letters. What on earth does that say? Hmm. I think it says one, yeah, I think it says one twentieth. 12 karat gold filled and then I thought it said sterling but it does not um it has an arrow under under the 120th 12 karat gold filled so it is signed I don't know what the arrow what the arrow means, but I think it's a vintage piece. I think it's 120th 12 karat gold filled. And yeah, that's what this says, I guess. Gold filled, $12, I paid $12 for this. So I think that's a beautiful vintage piece. And then I could not resist I tried it on, so I tore off the tag. Um, but I did pay $60 for this. I think that's probably, you know, the most I have ever paid for something in my little selling venture here, my little YouTube and selling venture. I wasn't sure if it was signed but I think all I'm seeing is the um, the pattern on the inside. So it's not a signature. It's just the pattern being incorporated on the inside. Um, they told me it was sterling. Yeah, I believe it's sterling. I don't see a mark or stamp, though. But... Um, I just love the workmanship of this. I just thought that was really beautiful. So that's what I purchased today. Um, guys, if there's anything here that you like, you now know what I paid for it. Um, and uh, if you want to make me an offer for any of these pieces, please reach out at Opportunity Thrift at gmail.com and um, you know just let me know and maybe we can come up with um, something that makes everybody happy and you can get some beautiful jewelry so if you like this video and you want to see more like it please hit the like and the subscribe buttons and I will see you soon bye bye